Hello everybody and welcome to a new video tutorial from Dr. Leria's World and today we are in the kitchen to talk about the light baking process. As you know right now we have different methods to calculate our lighting. As you remember one of the main methods is a CPU light baking. This is a technique that offers really high quality but you need to check too many parameters. So today we are going to talk about two methods for baking lighting using our GPU. The first one using Luos One GPU light mask and the other one the official Unreal GPU light mask. And like always if you like, if you are enjoying please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and let's start with the party. So people as you know I really like to work with simple projects and in this case we are going to do it with an interior thing. We are not going to talk about how to install Luos and GPU light mats but if you need some help you have to in Real Engine forum. And now we are here in Unreal Engine, we are working in unlit mode and I want to show you some parts of this project and this model. So let's go to wireframe mode and let's look for example for these models we are using sun optimized models and also we are working with more quality models and now okay we are in the lead mode and now you can see here the already baked thing in this case using luos one gpu light mass and also you have seen the in general the quality of the models so let's go to this mode this lighting only and after some minutes we talk about the parameters, but right now I want to show you some part of this model, this baggy light. For example, look at these details. We have really great results with our baggy lighting. Maybe some mistakes, but I'm really not worried because uh, after when I put my materials and my textures, everything is going better. So now let's look here in our thing. This is a data smith thing. And let's jump to our light map density. So this is something curious. There are some people who works like this uh, using higher values in light map density. But also I have seen some projects uh, using lower light map density with a really nice results. So this depending of your workflow. In my case, I don't want to bake and rebake again, so I prefer to use higher values and trying to avoid these kind of mistakes. Now, like always, we have here our post process volume. I have set some parameters, for example, this exposure. Um, for example, I'm using also the right tracing for amber occlusion. So look at this here, in this case we are using the usual amino occlusion and let's check it and this is the right tracing amino occlusion. So maybe you can think why you are using amino occlusion if you are baking your light. Because um, I really like these kind of shadows that you can achieve using amino occlusion. And something really important I want to show you about the uh, Luos One GPU light mask is that you need to work just with two parameters. So in this case I'm gonna show you the manual mode to edit these parameters. So let's go to program files, epic games, your version, engine, config, and here you have your base light maths dot in it. So let's go to the end and let's look for this one depth option GPU light mass, num primary GI samples and num secondary GI samples. In my case, I'm using 128 and 52. Also, I would recommend you this script is called Light Mask Configuration. You can also find it in the, um, in the Unreal Engine forum. It's really easy to work with it. You have here all the parameters and also your configuration. And let's press 7, change Unify Quality Settings. And you have here some options. This is like a quick way to set this parameter we have seen uh, really fast. Something I really like about working with Luos One GPU Light Mask is that fully supports Swarm. And if you don't know what is Swarm, it's a really great method that you can use in Unreal Engine to use multiple computers for your baggy lighting calculation. In this case, for example, it takes 12 minutes for this calculation using two computers. As I told you before, using this method is really easy. You need to check two parameters and also in your world setting you can set the value for number of indirect light bounces. And now let's open our cinematics and sequencer. 
and I want to show you how it's working and what about the performance. You can see it here. It offers really great performance because think about that we are working with the bagel lights and also we are using ray tracing for reflections and translucency. We have seen most of the general parts of this method, Luos and GPU LED mass. And something that's really important when you are working with this method is to hide your viewport so like that you have the full performance for your calculation of your baggy lighting. Look at this here, now it's working with the both machines during the radio city pass. Another thing it's really important when you are working with this method with was one GPU light mass, you don't have a preview mode. So you cannot see how it's working your baggy lighting process. We can check with the parameters we had seen before. And like that. And talking about the lighting, we have here some lights, places in our steam. For example, this one, this is a directional light source. I have it in a static with some parameters. And also I have this blueprint with the HDRI. And inside you have one skylight and also in a static. And I have placed some spotlights. And we are using a light mass in portage volume. So the main reason of this object is where it's going to focus our light map. I have placed it here some portal lights in every entry. So people, now we are here at the end of this part and we have seen how to work with Luos One GPU Light Mask. In the next part, we will work with the official Unreal Engine GPU Light Mask. And you know, starting at version 4.26, you can work with it. So like always, if you like, if you are enjoying, if you are happy with these videos, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next part of this video tutorial. Bye bye!